Now I'm going to show my motor dyno that I built so that I can uh, check and make sure all my motor prop combinations are in sync and balanced before they get installed into the airplanes. I'll be using the Alien 5055-400 kV motor in conjunction with uh, my 13-9-inch 12C Vario prop. I have the uh, pitch set at, uh, for this demonstration, I've got the pitch set at uh, 10 degrees. Because I'm doing these this demo inside today, uh, I'm not going to be doing any full-scale run-ups uh, just for safety reasons. But I thought I'd show some of the equipment that I use when I'm running the dyno and uh, monitoring the, uh, the test sessions. Uh, first off, I'm using the uh, Turnigy Plush 80 Amp ESC and a Turnigy 4S 5000 25 to 35 C battery and uh, I monitor the voltage with uh, the uh, Aloft Hobbies uh, voltage meter. I use the uh, K1 KV RPM meter from Hobby King to monitor my uh, KV RPM readings off the motor when I'm doing these run-ups. Uh, it's a little scatterbrained at the low to mid-range readings but it's pretty much on uh, whenever I get to peak RPMs it pretty much matched up with uh, the motor ratings. On this demonstration here I'm using the Overlander multifunction DC watt meter. It's a pretty good meter. I can uh, run the PCM output on it with the dialer on the right it's a pretty handy meter but it doesn't hold the reading so uh, you have to pretty much watch it as I'm as you're running running up the uh, RPMs on it to check your amp draw what kind of watch you're putting out it's a pretty good meter uh, with the prop on the uh, motor I I'm not going to be doing any full speed tests today uh, I generally do those outside a little more safe environment. I'm just probably going to be running about low to about mid-range tests here. gives you an idea I'm only at about I'm not even at half throttle right now but that's my run-up test on the dyno using the uh, overlander multifunction DC watt meter This is a demo of the usual setup that I, I run most of the time when I'm doing dyno tests on motors. Uh, in the background there you can see I'm using the watts up meter. And using it, it enables me to uh, take my MT1 and move it away from the apparatus when I'm testing it. I have this uh, longer extension cord that I can use. And it just makes it a lot safer and easier for me to... Uh, do a run-up test. But again, this is using the watts-up meter and uh, the MT1 servo tester.
I'm not even at half throttle here. Usually when I'm outdoors, I have it clamped down so it's not moving around on me. But as you can see there, it was uh, trying to take off. Now I'm going to uh, show some different prop variations uh, that I can set up on here to check. Check balance, amp draw, various different items. This here is the uh, burial prop with a uh, homemade spinner that I made. Again, my dyno wants to take off on this, so I'm not going to be revving this up. And this setup, <clears throat> this is the uh, three blade vario prop with the uh, FMS domed spinner that comes on the P47s and the Corsairs. This is the uh, newer four blade prop that FMS came out with for the, uh, P the 1400 series P47s and the uh, Corsairs. Here I have the uh, I have a uh, aluminum backing plate spinner for the uh, P51. It's in conjunction with uh, my four blade vario prop. This I will be using on the P51 Mustang. This is my modified Dubro prop balancer. What I have on the on here is the uh, 18 inch Vario prop, and this is with the uh, 14 inch Vario prop. Here's another example of an out of balance I prop. I can't really tell if it's the prop or the the uh, spinner. The prop and the uh, backing plate seem to be balanced, but this is the uh, this is one of the first uh, props that came out on the uh, Star Max 63 inch P51 that they were all complaining about. If you look close, you, the the backing plate and the prop itself seems to have a good arc to it. I'm almost betting it's the uh, spinner. This is a run out with the uh, spinner removed.
This is going to be an excellent candidate for the uh, Dubro prop balancer, as you can see. Uh, this is one of the nice things about having a dyno, is I can uh, find everything out. There's a glitch, I can catch it, laying it on the dyno before I ever put the, uh, the assembly on the airplane. So that's my demo, and I thank you for watching.